subject here, Mr. Homer Simpson. And we flew out a very good specialist from Hollywood Upstairs Medical School named Dr. Nick. Hi, everybody! <laughs> okay, so what we've done here is taken this ordinary appearing donut and hooked it up to a teeny little electrode. So, we place the donut in front of Homer, and every time he touches it, he's going to get a shock. <laughs> now what happens is, we put the donut in front of Homer, he sees it, he wants it, he goes to touch it. <laughs> now Homer's going to do this at a set level, so say like every 10 seconds he's going to go for the donut. He's going to get the same response as long as he <laughs> keeps it every 10 seconds. <laughs> But after a while, Homer's going to start to get hungry, so he'll touch the donut a little more often. Don't. Problem is, we're still Don't. talking here. Now, when you change Don't. it the first time to five seconds right after ten, you're going to get a lower response. But then as he goes more often to five second Don't. intervals, he's going to rise up to a new steady state level, which is a higher force. Don't. This is developing the staircase or the trep phenomenon. Don't. So as you can see, Don't. as he increases in frequency, but Don't. he still gets the same amount of shock, it begins Don't. to hurt him less. So he goes with more force Don't. because he's really, Don't. really hungry. Don't. Don't. And that, is the staircase or trip Don't. phenomenon. Next, let's move on to post-rest potentiation. <laughs> now in post-rest potentiation, <laughs> Homer's going to be going at a steady rate. But then, all of a sudden, he's going to have a rest phase. He's actually going to realize that he is getting shocked every time he's touching the donut. <laughs> but then he's going to actually think, you know, I'm pretty hungry, I'm going to go back for it again. But when he goes back for it again, Unfortunately, the uh, sarcoplasmic reticulum has stored a lot more calcium, so he's going to get a greater response for that first one that he touches it. Don't! <laughs> However, soon his body will begin to remember how much electricity was running through it, so he'll go back down to that original level. Don't! Don't! We just like watching him suffer. Don't! Okay. The last one we have to go over is post extrasystolic potentiation. Now, same thing, we have Homer initially touching the donut and getting the shock. Only problem is, as we all know, the human body can only handle Don't. so much electricity before we send them into some sort of electroconvulsive seizure. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> so if we have to pause for at least a couple moments while his body's muscles come back under his control. Then when he does come back up, he's once again forgotten how much it hurt to touch the donut. So he goes and gets a bigger shock. Dump! Much like post-rest. So there is the difference between him just forgetting for a while and him shocking himself into unconsciousness. Dump! Do you think that about covers it? Uh, basically, in terms of post-extra-systolic, you want to think of it as you're going in a five second interval, all of a sudden, maybe like a second later, he's going to go for it. That's why he gets a lesser response. And then he'll go back to that original five second interval for each shot. So he'll go back to that steady state level. Okay, so, yes? Is that the same level, actually? Which? Your yeah, well, my drawing skills are not exactly great, but I'm trying to show that you have it here. You make a drop. First few are a little higher than normal, then you go to a steady state. So for being such a good sport, I guess we'll take the electrode out of the donut, and now it's all safe to eat. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Alright, so thank you very much for all you. Thank you, Dr. Nick. And that concludes this week's bonus wow. edition of Masterpiece Theater. Unfortunately, there will be no Masterpiece Theater next week because it's midterm week, but we will be back for sweeps. That's right. <laughs> All right. So.